I'm Vanessa and I'm playing Wendy in our production of Peter Pan. And I'm Mark, I'm the Artistic Director of Hulltruck Theatre and the Director of Peter Pan. The story that everyone knows and loves is still there, except that we've given it a very special Hulltruck twist. So it's set on this evening where everybody goes out for the evening, leaving Wendy alone in her room, and she has a very special visitor. So Wendy in our version is 10, so she's a little younger than um, the traditional um, books and stories. Um, and in our version, she loves the theatre. She loves plays and writing and directing. Um, and she just loves creating this safe world for herself, I think. Um, which in my mind is because of the, the themes that we have and because of the war, that's her way of keeping things um, safe for herself and her brothers. Um, and she also, she loves nature, she loves being outside and kind of, she's a bit feisty, she's not your usual, I sometimes feel like Wendy can be a bit drippy, but I like to think in our version she's a strong, um, feisty, empowered young woman, I think. That's what we're going for. Definitely. <laughs> yes, and it's in a long line of, of shows that we've done where our young female protagonists have always had this energy about them. Mm. Um, and it's very deliberate, really, um, and a way of addressing stories and putting female voices right at the centre of them and making them strong and positive and inspirational. So we rehearse for four weeks in our rehearsal room and the rehearsals are a combination of the actors getting to know the scenes and we go through obviously the detail in the scenes but then we have movement work throughout that and we've also had a lot of singing work throughout that uh, and on top of that uh, Vanessa and Baker mm. have been practicing for quite some time now on um, on silks on the silks which you, can you can see, see. over my <laughs> left shoulder <laughs> so this is the way that uh, we have worked with a company called Upswing to create the sense of flight so mm. we're using circus aerial work mm. as a way of representing how Peter Pan and Wendy fly. Mm. Which has been an extraordinary uh, rehearsal process in the fact that it's not been your usual get up, come in, you do your lines. It's been press ups in the morning, sit ups in the afternoon. Um, which has been good. I mean, me and Baker are very muscly now, which yeah. <laughs> um, it's been a lot of fun and it's been great to learn a new skill that I feel like we can both now take forward into other work. And it's a real badge of honor to be able to say, I can fly not using wires, but using silks. It's pretty cool. There is, but we've also had a wonderful director. I'm not just saying that because he's here. Um, <laughs> it's been very structured and everything has been really clear and concise and everything done in a calm manner so that we've never felt overwhelmed. There's never been a sense of how on earth are we going to achieve this? Every day we got close to the end goal and yeah, here we are. audiences can expect an evening full of magic. It's full of humour, surprise. It's quite emotional in parts, um, but I think they will have a wonderful family night out at the theatre. audiences have been responding really well um, it's really lovely when you start to get those little titters and laughter where you have to have a little pause before you speak that's always quite a nice feeling to have on stage um, and also it's lovely to be able to when we are up on the silks 
to be able to see all those faces down below looking absolutely <laughs> terrified. <laughs> but how on earth are they doing it? Which is, is quite cool to be like, yeah, we're flying. It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty great. So that's been good as well. I like I like watching the audience at that bit because yeah. there's so many open mouths. Yeah, there are. They? Yeah, they're literally going like this. Yeah, <laughs> which is great. And of course, I, I mean, I really also enjoy the, the little one saying, mm. "Like I believe in fairies." Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so touching. Yeah, when you hear hundreds of little voices screaming, "I do believe in fairies," it's it's pretty magic yeah. and a few adults too <laughs> i think <laughs>